Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 4th of March. I am James Spann. Weather is cold and gray and miserable today, but at least not as cold as yesterday. In a very active, complicated pattern for the next uh, week or two. Let's go in there and see if we can dig out what's happening. Let's start with the big picture, and we've got a well-defined uh, wave. It's moving through Texas, producing some really nasty weather over uh, southeast Texas and parts of Louisiana early this morning. What you see right there, a lot of that is freezing rain just north of downtown Houston with uh, uh, road icing and ice accumulation. That's just nasty. They're under a winter storm warning down there. The bulk of that is going to slide over into South Alabama uh, later today and tonight, but we might see just a touch of that up here, as you'll see. And thank goodness it's not raining now because we are below freezing up here. Uh, Birmingham at 27. Look at Haleyville at 21. And really, you know, these numbers are basically what we saw yesterday afternoon. I mean, uh, yesterday afternoon during the day was about as cold as it ever gets during the day in March in Alabama. And around the nation, it's cold. About the only escape is down in central and south Florida, where they had 80s yesterday. Orlando hit 84. Uh, there's a look at the current watch warning map around the nation. Winter storm warnings, in effect, for parts of Texas, including Houston, where they've had the freezing rain issues. And look at the winter weather advisories into parts of Louisiana and southwest Mississippi. Wow. But again, as it moves into South Alabama, that should be just a cold rain uh, later today and tonight. There's the expected rain for the next five days. This is ballot through Sunday morning at 6 o'clock. Bigger numbers near the Gulf Coast. Rain amounts up this way about one half inch. Let's go in there and take a look. And again, this is kind of a complex forecast. We'll talk you through it. This is today at noon off the 06 ZGFS. This is up at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet up. You can say, uh, see the wave energy just to the west. And down below that at midday today, uh, rain covers much of uh, southeast Texas and south Louisiana, approaching the Gulf Coast of Alabama. And up this way, the sky will be cloudy. I don't think we see any sun. Uh, and temperatures will probably hover in the 40s all day. So the question is, will any of that rain affect us late today and tonight? It's going to be a close call. Let's look at the high-resolution NAM. This is valid at 9 o'clock tonight, and it is suggesting that that rain could work its way almost up to Interstate 20. You can see it's got the rain uh, around Greensboro and Clanton and Ashland and Lineville and Roanoke and Wadawi. But to the north, it's dry. But I think uh, out of uh, respect to that, we need to mention just the uh, chance of uh, maybe some light rain from Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston South tonight. And look at this. This is tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock in the high-res NAM. Even at that point, still suggesting potential for some rain for Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, and Anniston. So uh, I think out of respect to this, we'll go ahead and mention the chance of some light rain uh, for Interstate 20 tonight and even tomorrow morning. Um, and I'm not so sure we see much sun tomorrow. Now, this wave should be getting out of here by midday tomorrow, and the sun might pop out tomorrow afternoon. But uh, I think we need to amend the forecast and mention that possibility. This is the uh, GFS at noon tomorrow, and it's kind of similar. You can see that little band of light rain beginning to exit the state, but clearly some hint there could be some rain as far north as Birmingham and Anniston, Tuscaloosa tonight and tomorrow morning. We'll mention that. And if we're lucky, no promises, if we're lucky, the sun might peak out tomorrow. But I think the high will probably be in the 50s tomorrow. I'm not so sure we can see 60 with that kind of stuff going on in the morning. Now, Thursday, you can see uh, that wave uh, digging down through here and down below that. The GFS not especially bullish on rain at midday Thursday, but I think clearly 
with wave energy like that, you've got to mention the chance of some rain. This is the high-res NAM at noon Thursday. And like the GFS, it's not overly bullish on rain, but I still think we clearly need to mention that. The European does show rain over the state uh, Thursday afternoon. This is Thursday evening at 6 o'clock, so... Uh, Thursday looks like a cloudy day. We will mention the chance of some rain at times. Don't think the rain will be all that heavy, but it clearly should rain on us every once in a while, maybe especially Thursday afternoon or Thursday night. And again, I think the numbers on the guidance would be too high. The high would be probably low 50s. It'll be a cool day. And then finally on Friday, all this wave energy is out of here. We break out into a nice day. That should be a pretty nice day. The sky becoming sunny. The high should be in the low or mid-60s. That'll feel pretty good. And Saturday really looks nice. Uh, that's the one high-confidence forecast we have. Saturday should be a glorious day. And the thickness values are coming up, and the latest GFS is printing a high of 72 in Birmingham on Saturday. That'll be marvelous. So anything got outdoors looks great. Now, Sunday, again, you can see energy off to the west, and the models are all over the board on Sunday and, and beyond, so confidence is low. The GFS hinting a cold front comes in here with potential maybe for some light rain or a few showers, nothing heavy. The European on Sunday looks relatively dry. So we'll mention just the chance of a shower Sunday, but again, the, the models are clearly trending drier. It doesn't look to be a big deal. This is Monday, and that looks dry and mild with a high of around 70 with uh, rain way to the southwest. And then Tuesday, you've got that low in the Gulf of Mexico with some potential for showers here. The GFS showing a bit of rain over the state, but the bigger rains down south over the Florida panhandle. But the European looks pretty wet. This is Tuesday morning at uh, 6 o'clock. So uh, for the moment, we'll just kind of play along with the models and mention a chance of scattered showers on Sunday, a better chance of rain by Tuesday of next week, a week from today, and we'll just see how it all plays out. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.